All right, today we're gonna to be cutting a D20 from turquoise. I haven't worked with turquoise yet, so we'll have to see how it polishes. This is a pretty irregular piece, but there's kind of a bulbous area here that I think we'll be able to get a dye from. So we'll kind of be cutting off this part and maybe some of this. I might grind that, I might cut it, I'm not sure yet. Let's get the calipers out and a marker and get to work. All right, I got this sawed up and I think we're in luck. I was kind of worried that this black stuff, which I don't know what it is, but this black stuff would be kind of riddled throughout here. But if I look at kind of the major part of it, it looks like it's pretty clean. So that's a good deal. I'm gonna take this over to the grinding wheel and kind of just clean it up a little bit so I know exactly where I want to adopt this at. But so far, so good. Turquoise isn't just a gorgeous gemstone, it's also packed with interesting history. Turquoise has been cherished for thousands of years. Ancient Egyptians, including King Tut himself, adorned their treasures with it. Native Americans would often make jewelry from turquoise mined from areas around Arizona. It's also one of the oldest gemstones ever mined, with origins tracing back to Persia, modern day Iran. I like to think that this is not going to just be a pretty dye, but also a piece of rich history or culture. never worked with turquoise before and I'm having a hard time polishing it it's kind of interesting it looks really smooth after 600 grit normally that's not far enough to go to straight to polish but it looked really good so I tried it with the cerium oxide but it's just not cutting well so I'm gonna have to go do some research and report back if I find something that works I have an alumina ultra lap also an alumina Pencil. I'm hoping that between these two it works well. Yeah, it's still scratching it. I think the base of this is just too hard. Like the plastic itself is scratching the stone or something like that. We are gonna go with an idea that I have great confidence that will work because it is how a lot of people polish up cabochon turquoise. So we're gonna use a felt cloth and then Zam polish. Okay, I don't know how to get this on here. It's in this like tube. So I'm gonna just scrape some out and then sort of smush it around. We'll see. I'm sure a lot of you are yelling at the screen right now. This is a fail. I think I might need to like crush some of this up inside of a bowl and make a paste. Okay, I'm gonna try that. No. All right. All right. I think this is gonna work. This felt like such a good idea. Now it feels like such a bad idea. <laughs> I give this about a five percent chance of working. <laughs> All right. So I used a bunch of oil to kind of smoosh some of it into the surface, and then. I'm just gonna try that. 
I got one more thing to try here because I've seen it work on the internet in terms of how people are polishing this. So I'm just gonna try and polish it directly with a Dremel. We will see what happens. Okay, that actually worked pretty well. So I'm going to, I guess, do that to the whole die. Tell you what, it's pretty fun to solve problems. It's pretty fun to be kind of stuck and then sort of figure out a solution. This did round the edges a little bit. That's why like I've never done a die this way before. Maybe that's why you don't see turquoise um, faceted very often. It's looking really good though. of this die fitting an Egyptian themed character. A monk would fit because unarmored defense makes sense with a desert background. I'm a big fan of reskinning mechanics, so I think a spore druid using mummies would be fun. And a swarm keeper ranger with locusts would be biblical? Mm -hmm. 